Today, we are going to discover a very comprehensive solution that will allow you to create custom search bars and custom search pages. Now, look at all the different designs here. It works with blog posts, all types of search features, WooCommerce product search as well, and you can even search any CPTs or custom post types. For example, it will be very useful for hotel booking sites or any listing sites. Well, hello everyone, my name is Dave from the Plus Add-ons for Elementor and today we are going to explore this fantastic advanced Ajax search feature for Elementor. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel as we upload two new Elementor videos each week which will make you an Elementor master in no time. And also, please feel free to share this with your Facebook community so that your friends can learn more about Elementor as well. In this video, we are going to cover how to make advanced Ajax search bars for Elementor, and then we will create a search page using our own Next Builder. But first, let's have a look at the essential plugins for this project. Okay, so our first required plugin is our page builder, so Elementor, clearly we need this, and we need the plus add-ons for Elementor and the plus add-ons for Elementor, the pro version as well. Now we are going to build this using Next Builder, but you can also, if you wish, install Elementor Pro, in which case you can create your own template using the theme builder. Okay, so either way it will work fine, but we will use Next Theme Builder for this project. Now let me show you how amazing this solution actually is. So first I'm going to show you all the different options available from this widget. And then I'm going to show you how you can stylize everything from the front end. So make it look exactly the way you want it. And then finally, we are going to build our own page from scratch. So first, let's start by showing you all the different features from this widget. So first, we're going to go to pages and we already created a demo page, advanced Ajax search bar. So let's edit this with Elementor. And as you can see here on top of our page, we have our search bar and then the content underneath. So let's click on our widget here. And this is called WP search bar, which is a very comprehensive solution. As you will see, you can literally customize every aspect of it to fit your own requirements. And as you can see here by the side, you have all these different options, search bar fields, search input, result as area, etc., etc. So basically, these are all the sections that we can use to customize this to the full. OK, and now we're going to discover each and every sections one by one. Let's start with the very first one. So the first one is called search bar fields. So basically here, you are going to define the type of content you want to search. So we have the different sources, we have posts and taxonomy. So what's the difference between those two? Well, let's discover the first one, post. And what are the different types? If I click on the plus sign, you can select among posts. So these are your blog posts, basically, okay? You can search through pages and also products. So very, very handy indeed. So let's add post, for instance. So as you can see now here by the side, we have our search input and then our search bar itself. And if you click on this, now the posts were added here. Uh, so we can search through all the posts uh, on our website now. And you can add multiples as well. So you could add products as well. Now, if I click on this, as you can see, now I have a post and products all together. OK, now right on top of our field, we have a label here. As you can see, this is where you can change the text. And then you have the placeholder as well. So here at the moment, we have select, but you can change this to uh, anything you want. So for instance, choose option, and there you go. Now, as you can see, we have choose option. Now, next to our post and product, we can add a count as well. And this is the show index. So if I enable this now, as you can see, it will show us how many posts and how many products are available. And again, you can add multiple items here, as many as you wish as well. So that's about everything for post. Now let's discover taxonomy, and we can select our attributes. So we have category and post tag. So these are basically related to your blog post or block categories and block tags. And you can do the same with the WooCommerce products as well. So you can say categories, tags, and even product attributes. So let's add one here, so category. And as you can see, if I click on this, you have all the post types uh, categories displayed here. So again, these are your blog posts that you published. And then we have the same with tags. There you go. 
and we can do the same with our products or product categories if you have an e-commerce website so as you can see our designer fashion hat shirts and so on and so on and again you can show the card or not here by using this toggle switch right there and you can also add multiple items so that's basically everything related to the search bar fields now let's discover our search input so right here we can change the content of our text with the label here so this is what's displayed on top so maybe you want to type something like search below and then the placeholder as well can be changed so let's say if you run a food website or something like this maybe you want your visitors to be able to search by food so search your food then you can even change the icon next to it so let's click on this and as you can see you have access to all these different uh, icons readily available to you so let's look for something related to food uh, maybe let's look for pizza let's say okay let's insert this one and as you can see now it looks absolutely fantastic immediately now this is very personalized isn't it so next let's have a look at our result area so let's click on this so what is it exactly well basically if you start typing a search term right here it will display the results so if i type here for instance travel okay and then we'll get the results right here so as you can see we have 10 results we have a thumbnail image and a title as well and you have all these different lines showing up on our screen so now let me show you how you can customize all this section here using these features so basically we have two different styles style one and style two so let's go through this one by one so let's discover style one first so as you can see our first option is post per page so at the moment we only see three results but you can increase that obviously maybe five ten etc etc and then you have the result visibility settings so basically here you can define what you want to show or not show on your page as you can see of the title the content the thumbnail so this is our image and you have a specific option also to display the price this is only applicable for woocommerce obviously and then description total count etc as you can see on top it says 10 results you can tweak this as well so maybe if you run a travel website travel blog you could have the word destinations so let's put something here so if i type in again travel as you can see now it says 10 destinations so this is a very handy feature again now very often with blog posts they're usually very long so maybe you want to limit the text that you want to display we have the text limit here so you can limit the title and the content as well so if you wanted to change the title for instance you can limit this by character or the amount of word a word count you know in which case you can change the, the amount right here and then we have the same for the content so again like i mentioned with a blog post very often blog posts are very long so you might limit this uh, the visible part only to a few words or a certain amount of characters and next we have the result area link so if you click on this and it says here result link enabled yes or no so basically every time you have a search results as you can see the title is clickable so i can just click on it so what do you want to do with this do you want them to actually access it or not in which case you can then enable it and then once they click on it where do you want to bring them do you want to bring them within the same page or open a new tab altogether so this is basically what it is here so if you select blank it's going to open that article or that blog post or that product page in a new tab and if it's self it's self-contained so you will open that in the same window where you are at the moment already very good and now let's discover the second style so as you can see at the moment it's all in rows and the style two is basically it will allow you to display that in different columns so if you can see here at the moment we have an additional feature that says columns so here you can select how many columns you want to display on a desktop on a tablet and a mobile phone so at the moment we are using a desktop computer so let's change this maybe to three and now let's look for our search term here travel again and as you can see now we have the exact same search results but they are divided among three different columns so this is basically the only difference between the two styles one will allow you to display in rows and the other one using columns okay so next we have a standard search and from here we can select among two different options we have full match and default so by default basically if you type the word travel as you can see travel is part of the title here so it will show up but if you select full match you will have to type do you make these simple mistakes in travel for it to show up so again this is a feature that might be helpful to you and then with the generic filter so let's click on this and as you can see here this is a very powerful feature that will allow you to define which type of content you want to make searchable so you can search by title by content by permalink category and even tags so if you run a blog for instance you could search by content so if you were to look for the word travel all the con the, the blogs that contain the word travel in it 
will show up at that time okay and then we have the acf filter another powerful feature as well so if we click on this you need to enter the acf key so where can you find this okay so for this we go back to our wordpress dashboard and let's say you run a real estate listing website or something similar to this and you created your custom fields so from here if you go into the advanced custom fields, you have to create them and once you have them created you can have a list of different fields obviously so you could have bedroom bathroom uh, mod cons outdoor areas and garage capacity and maybe you want this term to be searchable for, for instance you want your visitors to be able to search by how many bedrooms are available and you can easily do this by clicking on the custom field itself so let's click on bedrooms and as you can see of the field name all you have to do is to copy this one and paste it right here just like this and now your visitors will be able to search by amount of bedrooms so this is how easy you can use custom post types and advanced custom fields and insert it here in your search feature so our next option is very handy for a larger size website so you have the load more and lazy load so basically how do you want to load your search results here so let's say if you have 10,000 blog posts or products or etc you don't want to load all at once obviously because it will overload your server so how do you want to do this so you have pagination so basically at the bottom of each page is going to say okay uh, we're going to load as many per page and then you can go from one page to the other and then you have the load more and with this option once you've reached for instance four uh, posts it will show you load more and then you can follow on with the rest and then lazy load basically each time you reach the bottom of the page it will load an extra set of four and so on and so on okay so that's basically how this works and then we have our extra options and our very first option here is the ajax search so as you can see by default it is enabled so what's the difference uh, with this feature if it's on or off well basically i need to show you this in the front end so at the moment if i type in travel as you can see it will load the results automatically without me doing anything all you have to do is just type and it will show the results so it will it will query the database automatically for us now if i disable this now and then update if we go back to the front end now each time i search for a term i will have to hit the enter key so now i hit enter and this is only then i will get the results so basically one is dynamic and the other isn't okay so let's just keep it enabled for now so we have the search character limit so it's set to three at the moment so for instance if you're looking for the word travel i could type in tra only you know and it will still show results related to travel or it can type trav or travel or travel you know so that's basically it for this option and then we have the pre-filled suggestion which is very handy especially if you notice that your visitors usually type the same keywords okay so let's enable this and let me show you how this works so basically here you can enter your suggestion words so let's enter three of them for instance we could have travel and then you need to use that uh, pipe sign so this is the one a straight bar like this you know a, a vertical one so let's say travel cooking and let's add another one maybe cars okay just like this now let me update so if you go back to our front end if you click on this as you can see we have three pre-filled fields which is very handy especially like i said if your visitors are searching for the same terms uh, very often okay so let's disable this for now and next we have only for specific cpts so let's enable this so as you can see here we have the cpt types so i have post pages landing pages etc so what is this for well basically when your visitors land on your page uh, maybe they don't want to select this option here so you can have this pre-filled basically so whether or not they're going to click on it they can still run a search and you will run a search based on that cpt okay so let's say if you were to select uh, products and now let's enable this now if i go back here and i type in travel as you can see it's not going to return anything because the travel is part of the blog post now if i change this to post and let's update and i type in travel as you can see it will return three results and again if i was to do this in the front end i won't have to select my option here i can do that without using this okay so this is what this is for and then you have the post not found message so if i add a few letters here there you go as you can see your taste is unique and you can tweak this around and put any message you want obviously you know okay so we can disable this for now and now let's discover all the styling features so for this we're going to style 
And from here, you can customize every aspect of your search bar. So let me scroll down a little bit. So by the side here, we have all the different options. So we have the label, the search box, the drop down, the button. So this is basically our four sections here already. And then everything else here, you know, the, the, for the results, etc., etc. So most of these options are pretty self-explanatory if you click on them. So for instance, let's go for our search box here. Let's click on this. As you can see, you can add some padding uh, on the outside to add a bit of breathing space. You can change the width. You can change settings in normal mode, in focus mode, etc., etc. Now, let me show you a very trendy feature at the moment, uh, which is glass morphism. So you can add a blurry background and everything, and it will look absolutely fantastic. So let's look for our background feature here. So this is the one. As you can see, background type. So let's click on this one. Let's add a color, so maybe white. And then we can add a transparency effect, so just like this, you know. So let's add maybe 70% uh, or something like this. And now we can add our very trendy glass morphism effect. For this, we're going to backdrop filters. And as you can see, we can add a blur effect as well. So we have a 10, we can change the value, maybe 15 or whichever you prefer, you know. And just to show you the results here, let me add a background image. So for this, we're going to style as well from the section itself. And we're going to select an image. So let's select this one here, for instance, okay. Let's just add. And as you can see, there's a very nice trendy effect, glass morphism effect applied to it. So let's go back to our section here in the style option again. So now as you can see, we don't have enough contrast for our labels here. So this is the label section. So we can change the color of our font as well. So let's go for something white. And as you can see now, it's just perfect. Again, you can change every settings here literally by going through all the different options. Now, let me show you a few nice features from this section here. So the first one is in the drop down feature. Uh, so this is the one basically, if you click on this, this is our drop down. Now, if you have a big website with lots of options, uh, you might want to use the scroll bar feature. So basically the same way we have a scroll bar here next to our page, you have the same right here and you can customize everything. So you have the scroll bar, the thumb and the track. So the scroll bar itself, that's what, what it looks like. The thumb is that gray stuff that we have and the track is everything else. So basically this is what you can do. You can add a scroll bar right here into your drop down menu here. Next option that I want to show you is in the button feature. So basically from here, you can customize everything related to your button here. So as you can see, you can change the alignment. So basically you can center it or maybe put it on the right hand side. You can change the color of the button itself. You can change the background color, the width and literally everything. Okay. Including the color of the icon. So next we have the overlay option. So let's click on this. So you can enable this. So what does it do? Well, basically that's a very nice feature as well to focus your visitors on the search box itself. So we can select a color. So let's go ahead with this. So let's select maybe black and we're going to add a little uh, transparency effect. Let's keep it dark enough, you know, so you will see immediately what it does. So now if we go here, as you can see, once I type here, it will focus the attention on this solely. So maybe this is maybe a bit too dark. So let's try again. There you go. So you can play with the transparency effect as well related to this. So this is for the overlay option. And next we have a background option. So this is very nice to add contrast between your search feature and the background itself. So if you select background type here, we can select a color. So let's go with a dark color, maybe something like this, you know. And again, this will add a bit of contrast basically between your search feature and the image in the background. And again, you can use a little bit of transparency effect as well to add more interest to your search bar. Okay, now let me show you how we can build our own search page. So for this, we're going to go back to our WordPress dashboard and from here, we're going to create our own template. So again, you have two different options. You can use Elementor Pro, in which case you're going to use the theme builder but we're going to use our own theme, which is Nexter Builder. And for this, we're going to go here and add a new one. And now let's give it a title, so maybe search page, and let's define our layout. So we're going to for pages here, and then it's an archive type of page, and which type exactly? Search results. Okay, so this is basically our rules now. Now we can publish. Very good. And now we can edit with Elementor. So let's recreate our page the same way we had it so far. So let's right click on this and paste the element. So this is our search feature here. Let me stretch this to the full width. Very good. And now let's add the bottom part, our listing section. Okay, so just like this. Very good. 
So as you can see, now we have a search bar with a hero section right here and then the content here just underneath. So right here, we have our WP search feature and right here underneath, it is the blog and post listing. So this is where all our posts and, and uh, content will be listed up. Okay, so the only thing we need to change here, be cautious of this, is to select the archive page here for our search results to work, okay? So now let's click on update and let's go back to our homepage now. So let's have a quick preview in the front end. Okay, so this is what it looks like, so perfect. So let's put this to the test. So let's type maybe travel, enter. There you go, so we have our search results here. So all these contain the word travel, 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 and travel here again. So let's look for one that has a unique keyword. So I believe knowing is only there once. So let's try this now. Knowing and then enter. And there you go. As you can see, now it's returning only one result. So there you go, guys. This is how you can create custom search pages and custom search bars using the plus add-ons for Elementor. Now we are open to your suggestion. And if your favorite feature is missing, then feel free to add it to our roadmap so that we can hear about your great ideas. And for this, simply go to roadmap.thepluss-addons.com and from there, you can submit your suggestions. And we'd like to thank you in advance for your help and support. Again, if you liked and learned something new in this video, then feel free to share this with your friends in your Facebook communities and make sure to hit the like and subscribe button so that YouTube knows that you loved this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.